In today's video, we are going to make a haunted house cake. Steam pumpkin in a pressure cooker for 15 minutes. Let it cool and then place it in a blender. Blend until smooth. The ingredients you need for the inside cake are eggs, pumpkin paste, and sugar. Separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. Place the egg yolks in the bowl with the pumpkin. Add the sugar to the egg whites. Beat on the highest speed in a stand mixer to stiff peaks. Mix the pumpkin with the egg yolks. Fold some of the egg whites into the pumpkin egg yolk mixture. Fold that back into the remaining egg whites. Pour into square baking pans. These pans are 8 inches by 8 inches by 2 inches. Bake at 325 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. The ingredients you need for the cookies are warm butter, gluten-free flour, honey, an egg, salt, and cocoa powder. Warm the butter and whip it for 20 to 30 seconds. Mix in the salt and the honey. Mix in the egg. Mix in the cocoa powder and half of the flour. Fold in the remaining flour. Refrigerate for about 30 minutes. Form into a dough. Refrigerate for about one hour. Let the baked cakes cool completely before removing them from the mold. Remove the cakes from the mold. Cut each cake about a third of the way across. Beat one and a half cups of whipping cream to stiff peaks. Place a large cake slice on a large cutting board. Spread a thick layer of whipped cream onto the cake slice. Place another large cake slice on top of that. Spread a thick layer of whipped cream on top of that. Place both smaller cake slices side by side on top. Cover the entire cake with whipped cream. Roll the cookie dough into a sheet about a quarter of an inch thick. Measure the dimensions of the cake. Cut the walls to the right sizes to cover the cake with cookies. The top is 7 inches by 2 and 3 quarters inches. Roll the extra dough into a sheet to reuse. If the dough becomes too soft, 
roll it into a sheet, and freeze for 5 minutes. The front and back walls are 7 inches by 2 and 1 quarter inches. The side walls are 5 inches wide and 2 and a quarter inches tall on the sides and 3 inches tall in the center. This slice is as the same size for the other side of the house. Cut slices about half an inch larger on each side for the outside walls. The outside walls for the front and back are seven and a half by two and three quarters inches. The side is five and a half inches by two and three quarters on the edge and three and one half in the center. Cut a door and two windows out of the front of the house. Cut one window on the side. Place all of the cookies on a baking pan. For the outside roof, use a small cake knife to push a roof tile pattern into the cookies. These pieces are seven and a half inches by three and one quarter inches. Make two outer roof pieces. Bake all of the cookies at 400 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. The ingredients you need for the pumpkins are steamed ground pumpkin, glutinous rice flour, and oil. Place all the ingredients in a large bowl. Fold until well mixed. Form into a dough. The ingredients you need for the ghosts are milk, glutinous rice flour, oil, and cocoa powder. Place the glutinous rice flour, milk, and oil into a bowl. Fold until well mixed. Measure out about 60 grams of the dough mixture. Add in the cocoa powder. Form into a dough. Make balls of pumpkin dough of various sizes. Carve lines using the back of a knife. Push a small dip in the center of the pumpkin using a finger. Attach a piece of brown dough for the stem. Repeat for all the remaining pumpkin dough. Shape a piece of white dough into a ball with a flat bottom. Pinch it about a third of the way up. Use a finger to make the bottom edge irregularly shaped. Make brown eyes for the white ghosts. Repeat for the remaining white dough. Use the remaining brown dough and white eyes to make brown ghosts. Cook the pumpkins and ghosts in boiling water until they float, which is about 8 minutes. Cover the outside of the cake with the smaller cookies. Spread a thin layer of whipped cream on top of that. Attach the outside walls. Place the patterned roof tiles on the top. Arrange the pumpkins and the ghosts on top of the roof and around the board. 